Now that we've got uh, Baku's permission, uh, Zidane will approach Steiner, uh, and needless to say, Steiner's not in a, uh, a humorous mood, to say the least. Uh, he's pissed off at Zidane for kidnapping the princess, putting her through all this danger, and basically threatens to kill him if uh, anything happens to her. And, you know, Zidane's like, take it easy, man. Uh, he, he lets Steiner know that, you know, he's planning to go search for the princess now, and he wants Steiner to come along. Um, needless to say, a long discussion and argumentative uh, fashion uh, ensues. Before heading over to talk to Master Vivi, uh, return to the storage room and open the chest on the floor for an, uh, for an ether. Uh, and then go ahead and head over to Vivi's room to let him know that you're on your way to uh, go save the princess. After Zidane and Steiner kind of give Vivi another pep talk to kind of reassure his self-confidence, uh, he agrees to come along to try and save the princess, and he promises to, to try his best to not be so flustered in the upcoming fights. Um, but before Steiner and Vivi follow after Zidane, uh, Steiner has an experiment that he wants to try out uh, with Vivi's black magic. So it's at this point from now on that Steiner can now use uh, an ability known as sword magic and that's going to come quite in handy in the fights to come. As you try to leave the Prima Vista, uh, Blank will be waiting for Zidane. After a fairly in-depth conversation, he'll give Zidane the same medicine that uh, Vivi and Steiner uh, had to drink to ensure that they recovered from the plant's poison. Uh, just in case that the princess has been poisoned, it's, it's going to be useful to, to have uh, a vial of that.
just outside of the ship, uh, Senna is standing by the debris. Um, if you want to, he'll sell you some items, and since you're no longer part of Tantalus, he will charge you. Uh, so this is a good time to purchase anything that you feel you might need. After you've shopped and got all of the items that you feel you'll need, go ahead and open the menu and start formulating your party, getting them in the formation that you want, the order that you want, uh, optimizing all of your characters for the, the latest and best uh, items to equip them with, uh, keep in mind all of the abilities that each item may or may not grant uh, a specific character uh, once you have everyone equipped and, and ready to fight. Make sure to set the abilities, equip the abilities so that you're, you're ready for any kind of surprises ahead or really just all the abilities you can equip at this point. And with all of the preparations done and ready for, uh, it's time to uh, be thinking about starting this whole trekking through the evil forest plan of ours. Keep in mind that random battles will happen frequently while you uh, traverse the evil forest. Uh, since we will have to fight another boss before we get out of here, uh, it might be in your best interest to fight a few of them, fight a few random battles, level up your characters if possible. Um, so just take full advantage of the weak enemies that you have to fight against and just make sure that your characters and party are prepared for anything that might uh, attack them. Back at the area where you fought the plant monster boss that attacked both print the princess and Vivi, uh, you'll be treated to another ATE. Um, I know I promised to, to keep myself quiet during ATs, but I just I always found this section interesting because the music is very similar to uh, Rufus's uh, introduction um, at Junian in Final Fantasy VII, and it's, it's a nice uh, homage uh, to, to kind of connect the two games together with common music uh, orchestra. I just always found it interesting.